Lieutenant, I was told that David Ward is still missing. That's right, Captain. <sighs> then I have no choice. This time I have to declare him as a deserter. This is bad news. I'm afraid rumors will spread that you can't command the loyalty of your men. <sighs> I warned you to keep your head down, Lieutenant. I don't know what you did, but Colonel Victor was having you tailed during your missions, and now he's got a shitload to say about it, and none of it's good. I tried defending you, but the things he's saying? According to the Colonel, the level of violence you're bringing is making it difficult for the mutants to accomplish their repair work. I know it sounds absurd to reason with them instead, but we need them, and your tactics are slowing our progress. I'm not there to be diplomatic, Captain. I'm there for a mission, which I accomplished, because the tough approach is all the mutants here. Maybe the fault's ours. Forgetting Technomancers aren't magicians. You can't work miracles. And if force produces results, minor delays are better than the rebellion we were otherwise facing. Victor also states you voluntarily jeopardized the lives of the officials you were charged with protecting. Want to explain that? How do I explain something that's not... If I put those officials' lives in more danger, I'd have been risking my men's lives and mine as well. Why would I do that? And the claims that you've been hiding vital intel for the sole benefit of your fellow Technomancers. Like an important research site on the Shadow Path of Aurora that didn't even register a line item in your reports? I was on a mission that had nothing to do with archaeology. I wasn't looking for a site, so if it was there, I didn't see it. Cause I was focused on my task. Like a soldier should be. If he wanted me looking for something else, it should have been in my mission. Not turned into a case for a damn witch hunt after the fact. Settle down, Lieutenant. Disrespect toward a superior can be considered mutiny. We clear? And the list of accusations and the details is long. Boris's body was also never found in the basement. Where would it have gone unless you let him get away? What should I have done? Bring his head back like a trophy? What do I say, Captain? I don't see a damn bit of evidence for anything he's claiming I did. I fulfilled my missions. That's it. What the hell is he after? What's his endgame? He want me to work for him and not you? What is it? And how the hell are you buying into it? What's your tone with me? That paranoia and conspiracy bullshit you're spouting will sink you. Colonel's a patriot to abundance, like me. You act suspicious, and you want to cast the shadow of doubt back to your superiors? Think that's gonna work, Lieutenant? Unfortunately, he's already called you in, and I can't stop it. All I can tell you is watch your mouth. Behave like the soldier you've been since you joined my company, and you'll come out just fine. I'll plead in your favor if it comes down to that. Let's just hope it doesn't. Get going. Colonel's waiting. Good luck. There he is. Zachariah, I was scared we were too late. For what? What's going on? There's no time to talk about it. You're in danger. Victor called you in, didn't he? Yeah, wants to talk to me about- No, he doesn't. It's a trap. It's just an excuse to get you there so they can arrest you. They will do whatever necessary to make you talk. I don't know what you Technomancers are hiding, but he's ready to do anything to find out. He's got power, but he would- Zack, listen to the girl. You stay away from that man. The crook, the, the, the pig- Thanks, Scott. You need to listen to us, Zachariah. I know it's hard to hear, but if you stay here, you're gonna die. Where would I even... We take a rover and go. The town's filled with ASC looking for you now, but I know a road that'll help us avoid most of the troops. Let's go, Zack. We need to go with the girl. No time to waste before that... that... that madman gets his hands on you. Now!
Maybe there's a pet. We gotta keep moving fast. Let's get to the show. Hurry. I don't, don't mean to question you or your... I know Amelia and she won't be happy about this. Then we won't ask her. How's that? Our lives are... Not just that. Now that it is for all that needs to Move. Ah! 
the last time we're not here to damage the equipment we're here to stop a terrorist so get out of the way now damn it they're already here who the fuck do you think you are it's my warehouse you prick if there was a terrorist here i'm pretty sure i'd have seen his ass lurking around so you're gonna hey make yourself at home lieutenant sorry to ruin the surprise but your little mission ends here Stop the traitor! <laughs> You're driving. Get us out of Ophir now. Fine. Everyone in the rover. You okay, Zach? Victor used everything I did as an officer against me, and I end up chased by my own people. Then one of my own soldiers turns out to be ASC, and I get involved in the armed robbery of a rover owned by my childhood corporation. Yeah, I'm doing okay, Michelle. Surely the young lady could not be taking this to an imaginary one. I mean, rovers are amazing machines, but certainly they cannot transport one beyond the bounds of reality and reason. I am not keen on leaving abundance. Noctis is an amazing city, Scott. It's as real as Ophir, but more amazing than anything you've ever seen before. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sure. Full of fairies and... and... Balderdash. Listen, Amelia, I'm sorry things went down the way they did. We didn't have a choice, though. The ASC after us and not a lot of time. Thanks for taking us wherever it is we're going. Thanks for the thanks, but it doesn't change the fact I still want to see your asshole head on a stake at some point. <laughs>
You really? An ostrich. No doubt about it, it's a wild ostrich. Look, you see the spikes on its back? Unfortunately, the poor animal died, but I'm almost sure that... Well, according to the sky, we don't have much time before sunrise. Fortunately, we're not very far away. We better get a move on. It's a pretty good idea, because as I was about to tell you, these creatures are social. They rarely travel alone. We might find ourselves in the middle of a herd, and an angry ostrich can be very dangerous. Very good. Want to guide us, Nisha? And Amelia, leave that rover alone. As you said, you won't be able to fix it. And if you stay, you'll die. Isn't that what that bitch wanted? That I die? I hate you all. Stop it. We never wanted you to die. We need you. I know that you love that machine, but there's no time to cry over it. Come on.
Trying to open the roof. You up there! Stop! Stop! It's Nisha! Listen to me! Stop! We'll take care of the creatures! I'm sorry, Nisha! I didn't. I'm stopping right now! But I'll only be able to open the doors for you once the area is completely secured! Corporate rejects, I might be elated. Do you feel it, Zachariah? We are about to enter a legendary city. Outcast. Nisha, I'm so glad to see you. We were starting to get worried about you. The news from Ophir sounded a little chaotic. You look healthy. Worried? About me? 
Give me some credit. Let me introduce you to Zachariah Manser. He's the reason why I'm here. Look at that. The Technomancer who saved us from the Vori. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Happy to see you again. Now I understand why the Prince was insistent. I want to see you as soon as possible. The Prince? Dandolo. He rules our city. If I were you, I wouldn't keep him waiting. He loses patience quickly. There's nothing like fresh news for him to be on pins and needles. But don't worry. He's a charming man. And he loves Nisha. Very well. I'll go see him. Happy to see you in one piece, Zachariah. Beg? I feel like I got ripped off. Apologies. We were forced to improvise. Playing a simpleton is a great way to avoid attention when you are a mutant. You can go see the prince now, but come back later. There's something I would like to discuss. I will be near the sand sails. Wait up. Your name's Andrew, isn't it? We went to the academy together. But didn't we... I overheard you talking to Master Connor after I brought him to meet you. I guess you overheard. Very well. Come find me once you've met with the Prince. We'll talk about it. Go now. Don't keep him waiting. 